I had a great workout, hit those weights, got a great pump. Now I'm gonna start my day. <laughs> So I'm on my way to Home Depot. My DP just called me and he said some of the lights aren't working. So he needs to get some replacement bulbs. So I gotta do what I gotta do. We gotta make this thing happen. So now I just gotta find a parking space and uh, let's find what we need. Make it happen here. It's incredible. Every time you go to Home Depot, this thing is fully packed. So I just got to go in there and get what I need and get going. So I need to get something similar to this. Let's see where it is. So I was able to pick up the light and I am leaving Home Depot now. <laughs> anyway, things are working out. Staying focused, staying positive, looking good. Everything's looking good. Hi everybody, this is Giovanni with Real Films Casting and today we are going to have Robbie. He's an upcoming actor. He's young, but he is pounding our door. He wants to become an actor. Let's see what you guys think about him. I'll see you soon. <laughs> So Robbie here is uh, pulling up and uh, he's going to give us everything he has, everybody. You know, dedication, that's what makes a great actor. Here he comes. Hey, Robbie, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. I'm glad you're here at Real Film Cinema. We're casting for the TV series and the movies that are upcoming. You know, we got uh, Z Uprising, Demonia Undertaker, okay? Uh, we got American Dream, Revenge of the Little Ninja. So there's plenty of work for you. So anyway, let's see if Robbie has the potential, the talent, to be in one of our films or TV series. You think you have the talent? I think I do have the talent. <laughs> he thinks he has the talent. Okay, let's see, and uh, welcome, and good luck. All right, thanks for having me here today. Just a little bit about me. Uh, I'm Robbie. I'm 23. I got into acting because I love the industry personally, and I just want to become a better actor. I want to be in the top 5%. Also, I do stand-up comedy, and I love it. Uh, I used to be a basketball player in high school. I used to love basketball. I went to Plantation High School. And, you know, uh, after I graduated, uh, I'm 23, so, you know, that's kind of the shaky years where you're just deciding on what you want to do with life. And uh, I couldn't do basketball because I'm not NBA size, uh, you know. I mean, I could work on it, but, you know, sometimes you have to let dreams go. So I chose this path because I feel like my work ethic will take me far and I'm just going to love this industry and just work my hardest and give it everything I have. Bobby, what are your hidden talents, huh? Hidden talents? Yeah. Pretty funny and I can act, man. You can? Yeah. And what do you do? You work out too? or? Yeah, man, I've been you working want? out You know what? <laughs> right now. Come on. I'm wrestling right here. You want? Right here, right here, right here. Okay. Come on, you guys. Let's see who wins, okay? Let's see. Ready? Set. Go. Go. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, he got lucky! Oh, come on, man! You he did me like that. He tickled me. Hey, how you doing today? I'm Robbie Toussaint, and I'm excited to be here. I'm 23 years old, and I just want to showcase my talent as an actor to the world. So, tell me if you like me. Santiago, do you really think H29 will really work? It was all your fault. You killed all those people couple jokes. Let's see if you guys laugh. Uh, okay. Florida lately, I see they passed that uh, abortion is illegal law. And let's be honest, folks. 
Some people shouldn't be having kids. We should reevaluate this. Like, if you're broke and you're struggling, I don't mean to say something wrong, but you shouldn't be having children. We don't need more of you in the world. That's all I'm saying. But growing up is hard. Like, I realized you grow up, you have to pay rent every month? I moved out. I was like, what? And they wonder why people go homeless. Uh, let's see what are the benefits. Free food, free money, and free change all the time. We're not helping them get better, folks. Oh, man. I think, personally, I couldn't be homeless because I, I'm black, personally. And they still haven't made the first African-American panhandler movie. And I'm not trying to be that guy. I can see the movie critics now. He begged for change so passionately. Change, please. Nope, not going to be me. Yeah? I'm telling you, those are hidden talents. You never know. These actors come in here for a casting, and one of them... Be is a comedian who would have known that. Do you know what? That's what makes you a great actor. When you have these abilities and these hidden talents and then you get discovered and now you're a major Hollywood movie star. But let's see what else Robbie has. You I can't believe you would do something like that. You betrayed everyone on the force. We all trusted you. How could you? Huh? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't end it right now. Huh? My partner wasn't here. Ooh. I put a bullet through your skull right now. Huh? <laughs> Robbie cracks me up, huh? I'm telling you, he holds that gun. Definitely looks like a cop, huh? Well, let's see what else he has. I'm here. Everyone relax. You're all safe with me, okay? Now, this is what I'm going to need you to do. Everyone get in a single file line and get behind me. We're going to make it through this, okay? Please, get your child behind us. No! No! Stay behind, Stay behind me, okay? I'll keep everyone safe here. No more lives will be lost. Damn those monsters. End of the world apocalypse, huh? For ZA Uprising, holding those swords. He did a good job. You know, he was definitely focused. He was definitely looking into the audience and, and he was bringing in them in. And that's what it is when you're an actor. You know, director looks for that. If you have the eyes, if you're fully focused and you don't blink all the way and you don't just stutter, but you're focused on your talent, then me as a director, I know I can use that and I can get that role that I need and now the performance is just spectacular B, you did a fantastic job hey you guys didn't he do a fantastic job so anyway are you employed right now yeah I work at Volcom and Sawgrass Mills Mall okay that's fantastic you know because sometimes you know when you're becoming an actor and you're working hard trying to get into your field it's not so easy and sometimes people just you know they quit okay and they move on because it's hard in this world to become successful but really that's all a state of mind I believe there's nothing impossible if you work hard if you push yourself okay and if you demand more on yourself and you stay around positive people and get away from all the negativity in this world there's nothing that you can accomplish especially with this talent you know so this comedy stuff when did that start with you started about two years ago in Utah, out of all places, and I'm <laughs> loving it. <laughs> so who pushed you to do that? Myself, actually. I always loved to do it, but I was never positive enough where I had the ability to do it. And then I was like, you know, I got to face my fears. Because the thing that you, the fears that you face hold the things that you want most in life. That's right, okay? But I, I just want to tell you is that you continue working hard, okay? Continue pushing forward. We definitely have somewhere that we're going to put you as one of our feature films or TV series, okay? You know, you have that heart, okay? Get around all the positive people you can. Get away from all the negativity, okay? Stay strong, stay positive, okay? Thank you for coming, all right? And good luck and God bless. All right, thanks for having me.
Hello? Hey babe, what are you doing right now? No, I just left the casting director. I did awesome, trust me. I feel like God has answered my prayers. You know what? We're gonna celebrate tonight. I'm gonna pick up some wine and I'm gonna come get you, alright? Alright, I'll meet you in a few. Real Films Casting, where we give you the opportunity to become a star and be one of our TV series or feature films. If you have talent, if you believe in yourself, and you want to become a star, then you definitely need to come to our TV series, and let's see what you have so our producers and directors can evaluate your performance and see if we can put you in one of our films uh, or major projects. So don't give up on your dream. You can make it. It doesn't matter about if you had college education. It doesn't matter if you have any money. It doesn't matter where you come from. What matters is it's in your heart. If you want to become an actor, then you need to push yourself. You need to demand more on yourself, okay? Dream, focus, get away from everything, you know? Sometimes you need to put more, more of your time into something that you really love to do. You know, everybody's out there partying and drinking, but you're working on your talent. And then eventually you become a star. And that's how all these great actors that we see on TV or in movies um, become what they want to be. Because they never give up. And they're working hard day and night. So anyway, thank you again for watching Real Films Casting and being part of us. Alright? Let's make you a star. I'll talk to you soon.